Hello everybody. For those of you who didn't attend our previous parent forums, we just wanted to come on and outline exactly what our plan is for our home learning provision for you. Um, I know there's lots and lots of things out there and I know we've put quite a bit out there for you to read. Um, and I know sometimes it's just easier to have somebody coming on to explain um, what, what, what is actually going on. I do just want to reassure you all that we are absolutely committed to making sure that your children get the very, very best education, whether that's remotely or in school and we are always here to answer any questions that you may have. Um, so I've got Mrs Ford as well on, um, on UBMC on your screen. Um, so both of us are just going to talk you through exactly what our plan and provision is and hopefully you'll find that helpful. So I'm just going to share my screen with you, just bear with me a minute. Um, and I'm just going to hopefully you'll all have been set up um, on the home learning dojo pages. So you can see here I'm on the year two home learning dojo page and you can see all of the um, things that have been going on this this week. What I am just going to pull up is just there is a letter outlining what our plan is and I'm just going to hand over to Mrs Ford who will just talk you through um, the letter which has been sent um, outlining the key headlines. So as Miss Allen just showed you previously the um the home learning page for each year group is, is the main platform really, which we'd like you to use in terms of our home learning provision. Um, the, the class teachers will update daily um, uh, videos, teaching videos, resources, links um, on that home learning page. So that's really where, um, if you're doing, the main body of work will be on that platform. So please, 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 if you can check in daily to, the home learning page on the dojo. Um, we have got other um, resources to use to supplement our um, dojo platform. So for example, we've got, um, we use the Purple Mash website and Miss Allen in a moment, she'll show you how to access that and, and how we are going to use that. Um, so the Purple Mash website will be used by, um, the teachers will set up new activities um, linked to the learning that um, is, is going on in both the classroom and by the, the dojo platform as well. Um, I, think, I think that the main thing, the main message really is that we use the dojo platform. The, the um, Purple Mash is just as an, an add-on um, website resource um, just to give you further ideas and activities to supplement that learning. What we're trying very hard to do is to make sure that the learning which takes place in the classroom, the children in the classroom, of doing activities linked to what the children are doing at home. So if the children are at home, we know that you can't compensate for face-to-face -face teaching, but we're trying to very closely match, match the work so all the children are getting the, um, the same entitlement. Um, obviously reading is still a, a it always will be a high priority. Um, on the letter that you've received, Miss Allen's just scrolling down now, um, you can see there is a link to um, the Oxidale reading, um, scheme which is an online resource so you can access books via the Oxford Our reading scheme they're very similar to the books that we use in school um, and Miss Allen's going to talk for, um, shortly about um, another electronic reading scheme um, that we're going to be implementing in school as well so those children who are at home will be able to access a wide range of books linked to um, the scheme we have in, in school as well so there'll be lots and lots of them to read at home because um, unfortunately at the time we, we can't um, send home paper-based books because of health and safety reasons. Um, I think they're all the main, main points. So, that, I mean, in, in summary, really, please check the, the home learning dojo for your child year group. And that's where all the, the, the main ideas and videos and teaching materials will be. And I'll just hand over to Miss Allen. Thank you. Yeah, I do, I do just want to add that I know we're, we are updated, updating the dojo and if you do have multiple children in different schools using the dojo, um, I, I don't want you to be overwhelmed by anything at all. Um, just do what you feel is appropriate and what you can do. Um, and your best is very, very much good enough. Um, and I, I did have a question on one of the parent forums whereby a parent did say to me, oh, you know, my child, what, what if they think it's playtime all the time, they don't want to learn. Um, we will be offering um, weekly calls with, with all of our parents and please do take us up on those if you would like them and hopefully if, if your child is um being reluctant to do, towards doing any learning and things like that hopefully their class teacher can then try and motivate them and i will come on to how we will motivate them slightly later so i just add just oh sorry miss ellen 
Can I just add what Miss Allen just carries on? Obviously, um, on the could you just go back to that screen, Miss oh, Allen? Sorry, yeah, I will. And, yeah. So the letter that you would have received does have this overview on as well. Um, so th these are just other additional ideas and things that you can do with your child at home. But again, it is the, the dojo where you'll get the main, main body of work. Um, but there are further ideas where you can support your child using these activities, which, which are linked into the, the curriculum that we're teaching at the moment. And what we are making sure is that actually all of the curriculum subjects will be taught, as Miss, Mrs. Ford has just said. And I know some of you have kind of joined up to things like Twinkle and things like that. And we think that's brilliant that you're joining up to things like that. But as Mrs. Ford has said, it's the things that are on the dojo, um, the live videos, the tasks that the teachers are setting, which will really, really support your children to achieve academic success during this period. It, you know, it, that will be the most high quality work you can do with your child. What I'm just going to do is share my screen with you again and I'm just going to take you to the purple mash um so oh hold on a minute Mrs Ford can you see the purple mash there yes it's just come up now so you can see I'm logged on as myself here um and I do just want to show you that um you know I can see work well the the, the staff will be able to see work done um, in these folders. I can't see work done in these folders um, because I haven't got any children in my class. Um, but what I will do um, is I will impersonate a child. So if you just go on to purplemash.com and if you just log on with onto Elvis and Infant Nursery School with your child's username and password. If you haven't got their username and password, please, please message your child's class teacher who will um, make sure that you've got that. So I'm just going to impersonate a child. So I'm just going to um, Joe very kindly said I could use Arnie. So if I just use Arnie um, for the moment. So if I go on to um, his to-dos, this is where the teachers are setting specific tasks for the children. Um, these things are more generic and general. And if you are accessing general things, um, it isn't necessarily what the teachers have planned for the children to learn right here and right now. So it's all well and good accessing the, the general things, but it's the, it's the to-dos on here that are more important. Um, so if you just go to the to-do section, you will be able to see the things um, that Mrs Ford has set for her, her class, or these have been set by you, haven't they, Mrs Ford, I can see. So what Arnie can do is he can log on and he can open his work. Now you can see here he's finished this work. And when Arnie has finished this work, um, what will actually happen is Mrs Ford will get a notification to say work has been completed. Mrs Ford can then put on um, a message saying, well, wow, well done, Arnie, that's really, really brilliant. Um, or, you know, I I'm really proud of you so hopefully that will be a motivational tool and factor so if I just open this work um, some of them so there you can see what Arnie scored um, and he can then have another go at that if he wants to um, and as I and you can print it out at home things like that um, I'm just going to cancel it um, you will also see oopsie daisy just if you've got um, something such as this wanted poster so if I just continue this work for a moment, so it's designing the wanted poster on here as part of an English activity, pretend this is my wanted poster, I can put my little icons in, I can type in here, um, I can add different colours um, and text and things like change my font, things like that quite easily. Um, then what I can do is obviously save my work um, and when you save that work that will that will be you turning it in um, to, for the teacher to see you can use different felt tip pens things like that along the side now what you can do I'm just going to I'm not going to save it because I'm sure Arnie doesn't want that on his work um, you will see here there's a sharing um, icon up there and when you click on the sharing icon you can see this Elvis and Infant Nursery display board where teachers will select you can see on here there are some children um, who have been selected Selected, um, to go on our display board. Um, so um, that really is the purple mash and how it is used. Um, but if you do have any other problems or difficulties with that, please do just let us know um, and we will help you with that as soon as we can. Um, the other thing I did want to talk to you about was the dojo and the portfolio on the dojo because obviously, as Mrs. Ford has said, um, the videos and the main body of it will be on that school dojo. Um, uh, and I just wanted to show you, so when, oh, now, I just need to double check. Mrs. Ford, can you see the dojo, or is it still good for uh, Yes, no, it's, it's yes, the year two home learning page, yeah. dojo, like, yeah. Um, technology. Um, so what, what you can actually do is I'm just going to go in, um, in fact, I might actually just stop so I don't get the whole class on here. Just bear with me for one moment. 
um, just so that I can um, make sure that I don't show you every child in the class and I can just click onto one child. Um, okay. So, just need to screen share now again. Sorry, everybody. Um, so you can see here, and um, what you can do is when you've completed work with children or with your child, what you can do is if you go onto your class dojo, if you click on to the class dojo, select your child. So I am using as Raya here. Um, you can click as Raya, then you can click. It will just say child's class, so you, you would click Miss Hames, and then it would say my portfolio, and then you can click create new. And under create new, there's an option for journal, photos, video, and drawing. So you can see here, this one is a photo. You can see here, this one is a video. So actually, what I can do is I can click on these, and I can add, and um, I can see what work the children have been doing, and I can also add a comment. So on this one, I can see she's um, she's obviously read Miss Haynes as well. She's listened to Miss Haynes as Dr. Zargle Book of Earthlet story, and I can put well done, and I'm going to approve it. Well done, and I can like it, and I can send it over. And she can see that I've said well done for doing her poster there. So you can just see that, um, and I think that really hopefully again will help keep children motivated. We will also be doing some low stakes um, quizzing for the children based on what they've learned, such as um, using something like Kahoot. Um, but we will be in touch with how that will work and how you can you can manage that at home as well. So that is the um, portfolio. Can I, yeah, can I just add something as well? We're saddened about that. Um, when when my year two class, when we were having to work from home um, just before Christmas. Um, children did send me their um, like math work, for example, on the portfolio, and it was really, really good because I could see where they were making mistakes or where misconceptions were and give them feedback. So it's really useful, particularly with you know, certain activities, for teachers to look at it um, and, and and assess that work and then actually do feedback via via that platform. So that's um, a really useful thing if people feel comfortable doing that because we can actually give direct feedback children as well. The other thing I wanted to mention was um, the school website. Now you will see I have called it home learning um, and not remote learning. I think remote learning sounds like we're really far away from one another and I do genuinely feel that whilst we can't be together our sense of community and our sense of togetherness is so so strong and I, that's why I'm calling it home learning because we are still here um, and you know the teachers are working really really hard to make sure they can provide for the children and the teaching assistants and all of our staff to make sure they can provide for the children in school and the vast majority who are learning from home so we're just making sure that balance is right what you can see here is under the home learning tab you can see the home learning now this is under review and it will be reviewed so um, if i'll talk you through what it will look like because it's not yet ready and up to get up, up and running but it will be very soon so if you go to home learning you will see you've got a list of nursery reception year one and year two. So if you, for example, click onto nursery, oh, actually it's not, oh dear. Oh, it's not actually working, but um, if you click onto nursery. Sorry, yeah, I think, Miss Anna, I think it's just because the reception one's the only one that's active at the moment, so that's. Right. So you will be able to go onto reception and then you will be able to click into week one. And in week one, there will be links to maths, phonics, English and then there will be other curricula um, ex, other oh there it is curriculum additions here so you can see that all of the material will appear and you'll click back to home learning and then there'll be another one underneath that says week two um, as, as you can imagine there's lots of work that's gone into this and we have tried our best to get everything as up up as fast as we can but it does take time um, one thing I do want to make you aware of is this lockdown one resource archive if you click into that lockdown one resource archive there's so much on here that is really still current and valuable and um, lots of videos from our staff which will really help you to educate your children um, so please please don't forget about those you know you've got all the phonics screening checks you've got lots of resources phonics resources that teachers have made 
things like that. So please, please still be on the lookout for those and still use them. And um, I got asked a question the other day, was it okay to share our website and resources with other schools? Absolutely, of course it is. We want all children to, to do as well as they can during this time. Um, so that's the school website. The other thing I did want to make you aware of is our YouTube channel. So we have got a YouTube channel, which I do keep sharing on the school on the school dojo. Um, there, there were the, on the school YouTube channel, you will see all of the links to all of the videos we've ever put on. So please do use those as well. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about, um, as part of the parent forum, a particular parent said that the juniors were using Myon, which is um, an online reading resource for children at home. And obviously, whilst we can't offer out books because you know we haven't got the staff to be sanitizing them between uses and we just feel it's too risky and it's not worth that risk because it's important rules and really really safe um but what you will see is we've signed up um to what's called book club um, and what it's what it is is if you go on to active learn um i have logged into active learn and you, can you see mrs ford is it come up yes we can see it yeah, so what you can do is your child will be on um, a book band. So for example, if your child is in nursery, they will probably start on a lilac and pink, um, which are wordless books um, where you know it's all centered around speech language communication um, and you make your own stories up with the books that are given. I'm just going to click on two. Let's say for example, I click on, um, I'm going to click on blue all levels. Oh dear, now it's going to make me log in again. Just bear with me a moment. Um, I thought it was going to say no to me then. Um, so what you would do is you, you've got lots of books which you can read with your child. You can see here they are, so, they are, they are also tablet friendly. So say for example, um, I want to do um, Kit's Kip. I will click on Kit's Kip and I will open that. And you can can you see this, Mrs. Ford, or not? Yes. Uh, uh, you can't see what you've opened. That's okay. I will just stop sharing with you and reshare Kit's Kit with you. Just bear with me a moment. While Miss Allen's doing that, can I? I'll, I'll just add a lot of the books. That was very fast, though, Miss. Oh, <laughs> you're going very fast. A lot of these books are um, are very similar to the books that we have um, in our reading scheme at school. Um, a lot of the publishers are, are the same, so they're, they're, they are very much linked in with um the book bands that we have already so your child if they're on orange book bands they'll be able to find the orange book band books here so if you're unsure as to what book band color your child is on then if you just contact the class teacher they'll let you know or if you just look in your child's reading folder hopefully the book will be in there and it will be banded so um and, and the other thing i was going to say is they are matched the child's phonic ability so actually your children should be able to read this themselves and it will really really complement their the, the teaching of phonics and reading so you can see here that you've kind of got um some teaching points that you can use as as teachers just as we well, are teachers if you're teaching them from home as teachers um you can then sorry you can hear all my emails going a bit crazy so sorry about that and um, what you can then do is you can go to the next page and the children can read as they go along and um, it could be that you want to circle a word such as in, in because your child might have struggled with that word and um, you might want to come back to it at the end to remind them well, what does that word say again um, as you say you can rub it out as I say, you can rub it out as well and you can use it a little bit like that if for example your child um, isn't yet reading or actually doesn't want to attempt to read it themselves what you can do is get the children get get the um the application to read it to you so if i just press read to me kit is in dan's cot pad tap sid now, kit is in dan's cot pad tap sid i don't actually know if you can um, I don't actually know if you can um, hear that because I'm not sure whether Zoom will let, will, will let you access that. Sorry, now my phone's ringing. Um, so um, so it, it does play it for you as well, so you can access that. What we will do, we are in the very beginning phase of getting this set up. Um, I know that Mrs. Lyme is trying to get every child on there and what we'll do is we'll email, email you, or, so we won't email you, we'll dojo you with your child's username and password so that you can log into that and then you can continue reading because it is so crucial and so important to their development and success later on in life. Um, so hopefully that will be really useful for you as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was um, 
it just made different motivational factors. Now I know it would be kind of tricky to get your children to concentrate or potentially could be tricky um, and to be motivated. And as I say, we do not want children to feel worried or stressed out or parents feel worried or stressed out either whilst they are working with their children. Um, so, you know, what, what we're going to do is every single Friday, teachers will nominate um, a lockdown superstar, somebody who's worked really, really hard um, at home and they will be rewarded um, with a special certificate from me and they'll also get a little prize sent home in the post so please do look out for those. Teachers will also be awarding dojo points and writing comments and feeding back on their work so hopefully that will help and support as well. Um, you will have seen I am doing daily um, challenges, excuse the state of the other morning, it's very hot um, after I've done my workout. But it is really important that a healthy body leads to a healthy mind. And whilst we are all in lockdown, it is important we do stay active and look after our body. So please do feel free to join in with my workout challenges. Um, I'm quite competitive. Um, and I think as well, parents, if you want to join in and post your comments underneath, I have even set you up with your own parent point. I know you're all sat there now, so excited, waiting to join in with my challenges. I'm sure you are. Um, so hopefully that will help as well. Um, hopefully the conversations that we're going to have are going to be in touch with you. Hopefully they will help because we will try to you know, be rewarding your child by, by giving them verbal praise when they have those conversations with a class teacher. There will be online dance classes which are offered twice a week which you will have also seen. Please do feel free to um, log into those and I will do an assembly at 10 o'clock every Monday so that, you can, um, so that you can join in with that as well. So there'll be, there'll be uh, Zoom links for the Miss Allen then for those things on the Dojo page. That's it. So I'll send a Zoom link, uh, Zoom link out so that you can join in with those if you wish to. I think that's abs I think that's about everything that we wanted. To yeah, we just mentioned last time about how um, teachers will be in contact um, this week with parents just to check in and see how they're doing. Yeah. Um, and that will continue, won't it, through this throughout this period. But at any point, if anybody has any queries, questions, please, I know that as a class teacher myself, all the teachers really would like to hear from you if you've got any concerns or worries or want support with anything. So please get in touch with us. And I think as well, your feedback is absolutely crucial for us. Um, you know, you are experiencing this home learning, you are out there, you're on the ground um, and your feedback is so valuable. It's like this online reading resource that we've now set up. That was at a request of the parent. Um, please do offer your suggestions because we absolutely will do everything we can. We are committed to providing the children with what they deserve and that is their absolute best. And I do just want to say thank you to all of you. I do believe we are um, a really, really close-knit community and we are a family. And whilst this has been distressing for so many of us, um, we will get through this together. We will support one another. And whilst we can't offer you in, um, our door is open and well, it's not actually open, but you know, if you want to dojo me, if you want to call us, anything we can do, we are here for you and we will support you and your children. Um, and please be kind to yourselves. Don't put too much pressure on yourselves. As I say, your best is good enough. Um, and you know, just, just do whatever you can um, to, to provide the children with the best that you can during this time. So hopefully we'll see you all very, very, very soon. And if there's anything else I can help and support with, please do let us know. I did say on the last, um, on the parental forum, I got a bit soppy last night and said, at the end of every, um, every mess, every letter I send, I always want to put, I love you all so much and your children. Um, and, and actually I, I do. Um, and I think, you know, I think, as I say, we are a family and we have so much love and support for one another and we will, we will be back together soon safely. Let's hope. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all of you all soon. All of the staff as well who are working so tirelessly to make sure our children get the best. So thank you. Bye bye. bye.